Hi everyone, uh, welcome to lecture number 10. <clears throat> this is the last lecture of basic probability under K data science and we will continue Bayes theorem. So we have seen the theorem, we have solved a few problems uh, under this category in the last lecture. We will just solve a few more questions and previous year questions uh, and yeah, like discuss more about Bayes theorem. So like just to discuss the theorem, uh, we need to find the probability of A given B, but this is not very easy to find. So what we do is, uh, we just find the contribution of B in the probability of A. So it's like what? It's probability of B given A has already happened times probability of A upon probability of B. Right? This is what Bayes theorem was. So like we will discuss more questions on this. So back contains four fair and three unfair coins and probability of heads for any unfair coin is one by three. A coin is drawn from the bag and tossed. What is the probability that it will end on heads? This is the first part. This is from total probability. Now, let's say you tossed a random coin from the bag and it landed on heads. What is the probability of the, to uh, the coin which you tossed was fair? So, it's an easy problem. Uh, bag contains four fair and three unfair coins. Probability of heads in a fair coin is 1 by 2. Probability of heads in an unfair coin is given to be 1 by 3. Now, you took out a coin at random and tossed it. What is the probability of it being uh, landing in heads? It is probability of you get uh, taking a fair coin times probability of getting an heads in a fair coin plus probability of you getting an unfair coin times probability of getting in heads on an unfair coin. So it is 4 by 7. 4 by 7 is the probability of getting a fair coin, right? 4 by total coins are 7. Times probability of head given fair coin is tossed 1 by 2. Probability of getting an unfair coin is 3 by 7 times Probability of getting a heads in an unfair coin is 1 by 3. So this is 2 by 7 plus 1 by 7, which is 3 by 7. So this 2 by 7 is the fair coins part and 1 by 7 is the unfair coins contribution. Right? Fair coins contribution is 2 by 7, unfair coin contribution is 1 by 7 in the total probability. Now what we need to calculate, what is the probability that you got a fair coin? Given that you landed on heads, it is just the contribution of heads uh, of the fair coin upon overall total probability which is 3 by 7. So it is 2 by 3. Right? You can apply the formula also. You will It will be this term upon the probability of heads. So you will get 2 by 3. Cool. Uh, let's see the next problem. There are three bags and uh, they, they all contain white and black balls. First bag contains three white and two black balls. And the second contains two white and three black balls. And the third bag contains four white and one black ball. Without any biasing, one urn is chosen and one ball is chosen randomly. And it, it turned out to be white. What is the probability that it came from the third urn? Okay. So there are three bags. Uh, bag B1. It contains three white and two black balls. There is bag B2. It contains two white and three black balls. And there is bag B3. It contains four white and one black ball. Without any biasing, you choose a urn and uh, like choose a urn and, and take a ball out of it. And this ball comes out to be white. So what is the probability that it came from the third bag? So you just need to calculate the probability of third bag given the chosen ball is white. So it is nothing but probability of uh, getting a white ball given the third bag is chosen times probability of third bag being chosen upon probability or overall probability, total probability of getting a white ball. So it is probability of getting a white ball from the third bag, which is four by five times probability of choosing third bag, which is one by three upon total probability. So this is just the contribution of third bag. What, what are the total contribution of the first bag? It is uh, three by five into one by three. Plus from the second bag, the contribution is 2 by 5 into 1 by 3. And for the third bag, the contribution is 4 by 5 into 1 by 3. Okay, so this is our formula. Here I didn't calculate total I calculated the total probability here itself. Okay. I didn't write the overall formula. So this is how we calculate it. So here 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3 gets cancelled. And the denominator 5, 5, 5 gets cancelled. So you'll get 4 over. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4 by 9. Okay, so this is the probability of 
uh, third bag being chosen given that the ball was white. Cool. So this is gate 2016 question. A box P has two red balls and three blue balls. So there is a box P. It contains uh, two red balls and three blue balls. And there is a box Q. It contains three red balls and one blue ball. Okay. A ball is selected as follows. So there is a system given. So firstly you select a box at random. No, oh, it is not like uniformly random. It is given that the probability of getting a box P is 1 by 3 and getting box Q is 2 by 3. Okay. So you first select a box and then you choose a ball from the selected box such that each ball in the box is equally likely to be chosen. So the probability of selecting box P is given to be a 1 by 3. And probability of selecting box Q is given to be 2 by 3. Okay. Now, given that the ball selected in the above process is red ball, given that the final ball is red, what is the probability that it came from box P? Okay. So, we want to find the probability that it came from box P given that the red ball is chosen. So, it is nothing but probability of getting a red ball from back P times probability of getting back P upon overall total probability of getting a red ball. Right, it's very easy from the question now. It is like obvious that it is Bayes theorem, right? Because we know the total probability of red ball, but now it's a reverse engineering problem. Given that the ball is red, what is the probability that it, it came from back P? So it is uh, just the contribution of back P, which is this. So it is probability of getting a red ball given that back P is chosen, it is 2 by 5. So it is 2 by 5 into probability of uh, choosing back P, it is 1 by 3 upon. The total probability of red ball is you can get a you, you can get it from back P or back Q. So firstly for back P the chances are uh, 2 by 5 into 1 by 3 plus for back Q the chances of getting a red ball is 3 by 4. So 3 by 4 times the chances of selecting back Q is 2 by 3. So this is your answer you can like calculate it. So it is uh, 2 by 15 upon 2 by 15 plus 1 by 2. So it is nothing but 2 by 15 upon. So how to calculate this? Make this also. So like make every everything 30 in the denominator. So it will become 4 plus 15 over 30. And this will be 4 by 30. So this is nothing but 4 over 19. So the required probability is 4 over 19. Okay. So now let's see this question. Beautiful question from gate 2021. They tried to make it using like, like computer networks, but yeah, it's not required. It's just a problem from Bayes theorem. So a sender S transmits a signal, which can be one of the two kinds, H and L. So probability of the signal being H is given to be 0.1 and probability of the signal being of kind L is 0.9. In a graph below the weight of the edge UV, the weight of edge, let's say HH is the probability of receiving V when U is transmitted. So probability of receiving H given H is transmitted is 0.3. Probability of receiving H given L is transmitted is 0.9. Probability of receiving L given H is transmitted is 0.7. And probability of receiving L given L is transmitted is 0.2. So this like how do you interpret it? The given that it is given that probability of H is 0 0.1. It is given that probability of L is 0 0.9. Now probability of receiving H given H is transmitted is 0 0.3 from the from the weight of the graph. And probability of receiving H given L is transmitted is 0 0.9. Probability of receiving L given H is transmitted is 0 0.7. And probability of receiving L given L is transmitted is 0.2. This is what is given. Okay. Now, for example, like, uh, so this is the same example. Now, if the received signal is H, it is given that the received signal is H. Okay. So basically, this is like received given send. Okay. You can add R and S here as well. 
So it's better that we add R and S. So this is probability of send H, S, S, uh, this is sent, this is received given sent, this is received given sent, received given sent, received given sent, okay. Now it is given that the received signal is H. What is the probability that the transmitted signal was also H? So you have to find the probability of transmitted signal being, being H given that the received signal is also H. Okay. So you are given the final total probability that the received signal is given to be H. So it now is from Bayes theorem, right? We don't know this, but we know the reverse of this. We know the reverse of this, right? We know probability of HR given HS. So it is from Bayes theorem. It is nothing but probability of received signal being H given the transmitted signal is S. H times probability that transmitted signal is H upon the total probability of received signal being H. So it is nothing but uh, probability of this, this is given to be 0.3. So 0.3 times uh, probability of uh, sent signal being H, 0.1. Upon, what is the total probability of received signal being H? It is, uh, uh, so, in, for the received signal to be H, the transmitted signal can be H or L, both. It can be H or L. So it is probability that the transmitted signal is H times the, the, the sent signal is H times this probability that the received signal is H given the transmitted signal is H. So it is 0.3 plus if the transmitted signal was L, the probability is 0.9. If the transmitted signal is L, what is the probability that the received signal is H? It is again 0.9. Okay, I might have probability that the received signal is H given that the transmitted signal is L. It is 0.8, okay, point, uh, it's not 0.9, it's 0.8. So it is 0.9, 0.8 here. So this is our expression, okay, I just applied Bayes theorem. So it is uh, 0 0.03 upon 0 0.03 plus so 0.722. So it is 3 over 75. You can calculate it and you have to round it to two decimal places. You will get 0 0.04. Okay. So that's how you do it. Cool. So this is uh, this question is from gate 2016. Suppose that a shop has an equal number of LED bulbs of two different types. Okay. The probability of an LED bulb lasting for more than 100 hours that given that it is of type 1 is 0.7 and given that it is of type 2 is 0.4. The probability that an LED bulb chosen uniformly at random last at last more than 100 hours is. Not every question is from Bayes theorem. Read the question carefully. What is what is given? Mm, there are two types of bulbs, T1 and T2. The probability that it will last more than 100 hours, probability that it will last more than 100 hours, given that it is from T1 is 0.7. And probability that it will last more than 100 hours given that it is from type 2 is 0.4. Now an LED bulb is chosen randomly at, at random okay and it is given that there are equal number of two types of bulbs. So probability of type T1 is 1 by 2 and type T2 is also 1 by 2. Okay so what is the probability that a randomly chosen bulb will last more than 100 hours? So it can be from type T1 times probability that it will last more than 100 hours given that it is from T1 plus probability that it is of type T2 times probability that it will last more than 100 hours given that it is from of type T2. This is the overall probability of lasting more than 100 hours. So it is 1 by 2 times 0 0.7 plus 1 by 2 times 0 0.4. Okay. It is 1.1 upon 2. It is 0 0.55. Okay, this is total probability question only. Had it been the question be like this way, ki, given that a randomly chosen bulb, uh, LED bulb lasts more than 100 hours, what is the probability that it is of type T1? Then it is Bayes theorem. Then it would have been this thing upon 0 0.5, 0 0.55, right? So now you got it, right? Like it, it, like just read the question carefully, what it wants, and you'll be able to do it. Cool. So this problem, consider it as a homework problem. I'll not solve it here right now. Uh, we will have discussion sessions live and I will solve it here. It's an amazing problem of Bayes theorem. Read it carefully, try to solve it. And don't look up internet, try to solve it on your own. Okay, it's a beautiful problem and we will discuss it. Okay, in the, in the discussion ses session. So just, I'll just, uh, just take a screenshot and try to solve it. And it involves all the concepts that we have seen so far. 
and uh, we will solve it okay cool so thanks a lot we have discussed like all the uh, basic uh, basic probability axioms theorems everything now we will go deep into random variables statistics which are part of gate d a course uh, thanks a lot bye